Hello my friends and welcome back to a new video. In this video we are going to build this application together. It's a video player. Actually it has two video players. One of them on the top is playing the video uh, directly from YouTube like this. Hello my friends and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to and down below we have another video player that plays uh, mp4 type uh, video which is stored in the resources of this application and it has a controller as you can see here when i'm pressing the play button it plays the video let's learn it here in the resources i have this uh, raw package and i have this video inside it sample.mp4 the type of the video is mp4 in the build.gradle uh, we have this dependency i will put it in the description of the video down below you can copy and paste it and you can pause the video and write it or you can find it in the source code in my github okay here we have a empty raw application so i'm going to delete the extra materials because we don't need them and building our own application let's start with the youtube video player i'm creating a file calling it youtube player here we need the composable okay here we have this composable that we need it and uh, inside it we need two variables one of them will be the id of the video that we want to play it and it comes from the main activity later we will send it to it so uh, youtube video id Is a type of a string and the second one is the life cycle of uh, life cycle owner actually so here uh, we have to add android view because uh, this youtube player is created for um, xml type android applications and you want to use it in jetpack compose so we have to use the android view and it has a factory and in the return the factory gives us the context and we can use the context here okay let's start with adding a youtube player view here we have it youtube player view and it has a context so we can pass this context to it then dot apply okay after applying this uh, we need to attach the lifecycle owner to it so lifecycle owner dot lifecycle dot add observer and here this and this comes from this youtube player view okay after that uh, we have to set this string onto this player so add the youtube player listener object abstract youtube player listener and okay just like this we need to override the function here on 
actually function then on uh, ready this one the first one and we don't need this super so i'm going to delete it uh we are going to use this youtube player variable here youtube player dot load video which video the video that we passed here this one so youtube video id and uh, from where it should start from the start of the video from the beginning of the video so we have here the start seconds i'm going to write zero f and it will play the video from the beginning so everything is ready here as you can see the function that we have created here is not composable but this android view is composable so it can have a modifier and uh, yes we can modify it by using by using the modifier so uh, we can fill it maximum width but padding of maybe eight dps importing it alt and enter and a clip to make it beautiful rounded corner shape 16 dot dps dp not yo okay that's it for this part let's go to the main activity and call this function i'm going to zoom here and youtube player so we need the youtube player video id i'm going to copy and paste it and uh, the life cycle will be local life cycle owner dot current control all l to line it up okay we can test it let's see what do we have till now Welcome back to okay, here we have the YouTube video, you and you can see this UI concept, which is the UI of uh, Cookie Shop the Store application. Okay, let's continue with the second one. Um, here, another file, and we can call it Video Player MP4 Video Player or something like that. Here the same, we have to pass the video address. Uh, so we need a variable here, video URI with the type of URI. Okay. Again, Android view. And again, we have the context. But inside it, we are going to uh, use a video view. Passing the context to it and dot apply. Uh, now we just need to attach to send this uri to this video view so set video uri and passing the video uri to it and now just to play the video we need to write set on 
prepared listener and here start if you run the application uh, by this code it works but if you want to have the controller you can build a controller and attach it to it so let's have it here creating a value calling it my controller equals to media controller and the media controller needs the context as well and in the next line my controller dot set anchor view this and then set media controller will be equal to my controller by these three lines of codes we can add controller to this player and as i said without them also it works now let's go to the main activity we can add it instead of this or we can have a column here to have both of them at the same time taking this to the column after this a spacer with the height of 16.dps alt and enter come on importing the dp in the next line calling this video player and we need to create this video uri here inside of the column or outside of the column doesn't matter you can create the variable equals to uri dot parse and it's a string type so android dot resources resource not resources okay a slash a slash then we need the package of the application so i'm going to copy and paste it here we can do the same to avoid having typo so typo draw that the name of the video and control alt l we have it let's pass it here video URI and it should work. Let's check it. Okay, here you have it, but uh, we didn't use a modifier to it, so uh, we can have the modifier as well let's go to youtube player copy all of the materials for modifier and here paste them starting again and now you can see that it has rounded corner shape and the video is here and the youtube video is playing as well hello my friends and welcome back to a new video in this video I'm... okay that was everything about this video i hope you like it please give me a thumbs up if you like it if you are new here please subscribe to the channel if you have any comment question and suggestion write down below in the comment box uh, again you can find the whole source code of the application down below in the description Click on it and find it in my GitHub. Have a good day. Bye-bye.